Hey guys, welcome back here to Horizon Forbidden West. Um, we have beaten the game. We beat the campaign. Uh, thank you everyone for watching me in that final uh, gameplay episode of the campaign. It was a lot of fun. Um, but I did tell you guys I would show you all of the cauldrons. And so we are back in the game because here is a cauldron. Um, it's an underwater cauldron, which is a lot of fun. I had to defeat a snap mob, a bunch of other creatures, and... Um, well, you could call it a shell snapper, but I, what I like to call them are big ass turtles. It's good, but they kind of, yeah, turtle, frog. They kind of share some similarities of both, but it is a turtle. Anyway, we're going to dive right into this cauldron. I was also doing some more thinking on the, uh, final mission and why I found it a little bit easier than last time. I was kind of surprised by that. I'm like, I don't want people to feel cheated that it wasn't that entertaining. It was kind of easy. and um, I realized when I played the game the first time, I was only like level 30 like 3 or something, or 32, like just enough of a level to be able to fight. Um, so it was much more difficult for me. I also did not have any legendary armor or two legendary weapons with me in my loadout so I was weaker and I wasn't as strong all of those things combined made it a much easier uh, final combat than it was for me the first time so that kind of explains what happened there it surprised me a little bit though because yeah, first time I played it, I died like three times on that final boss, and I was a little bit surprised. I don't know where I'm supposed to go here, so I'm just gonna hide in the kelp here for a second. Looks like I can swim down from here. Swim down? There's a down? about to enter a cauldron and will not be able to exit until well, you complete it. Well, That's kind of the point, game. That's kind of the point. I've been thinking about what comes next to the channel. Um, I have some time to kill here because it's March 6th and uh... I mean, obviously, this is going to come out in April at some point. So for you guys, it won't be all that different. But for me, I've got quite a bit of time before the DLC comes out. Um, so yeah, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do. I'm a m huge fan of the Legend of the Dragoon game from PlayStation 1. And they just did a... Uh, it's not a remaster, it's not a remake. They just kind of enhanced it a tiny little bit. Um, so I'm considering playing that. I don't know if I'll put that on the channel, though, because the graphics are not going to be amazing. Um, I've also got God of War that i got to dive into. Um, I've referenced my gameplay of God of War, uh, the first one, many times. And as for the second one, uh... Ooh, here we go. I've seen some stuff on it, and uh, I have to play through it, so that'll be a lot of fun. I would like to do a playthrough of The Last of Us Part 1 and 2. Uh, part 2 is arguably my favorite video game of all time. I know there's a lot of hate from a lot of people on it, but I think the story is incredibly emotional and beautiful, although painful. And it's just incredible writing, incredible voice acting, and I love it. Um, as for the first one, I played it years ago, but I haven't played this new remastered one, which looks really amazing graphically and gameplay-wise. 
Uh, what else? We got Jedi. Uh, I forget even. I don't even remember what it's called, but it's a sequel to uh, Fallen Order, which looks like that'll be a lot of fun too. I have said this on multiple occasions. There are definitely going to be games that, um... Yeah, we gotta go that way. There's definitely going to be some games on the channel that I, I play that I have already played, but are maybe favorites, or older games that I haven't had a chance to play yet. Um, one of the first games that I reviewed on the channel was uh, Uncharted 4. I was so excited to play Uncharted 4. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was a great game. Um, there is a, I don't know if it's like a whole other game or just like a DLC for it, uh, that has two women on the cover. I haven't played that, so I would love to play that too. Maybe you guys can mention in the comments which one you prefer for me to play next. And just to clarify, uh, the next game that I will be putting videos out for is going to be the Horizon Forbidden West uh, DLC. I want to have those games kind of released right next to each other, so that's going to happen no matter what. But it's the game that I play after that that I put videos out for is my uh, question. And unfortunately, on YouTube, you can't really put out polls or even make just regular posts to YouTube feed until you have a ton of subscribers, and I absolutely don't have enough subscribers to do that. See, I don't know. If there's a specific game you want me to play, or if any of the ones I mention get you excited, just put it in the comments, let me know, and I'll see what I can do. Can't get that machine down there because I was stuck in the turbine. <laughs> Alright, can I make this jump? So, yeah. we go. In the comments, just say, you know, after the DLC for this game, if you'd like to see me do a run of The Last of Us Part 1 and 2, uh, if you'd like me to play God of War Ragnarok, because I gotta get that under my belt. Um. <laughs> If you want me to play the uh, DLC from Uncharted 4, I'll be honest, I don't know what it's called. I apologize. I should be able and to again, I don't, e I don't even know if it's a DLC or if it was a whole other game that was released. I'm not sure. Is this, there's nothing over here for me to collect? Okay. It was really important for me when I got uh, Hogwarts Legacy to get videos out like immediately. I felt that was crucial for growing my channel, um, and it resulted in like, you know, two more subscribers, which is fine, because I said when I started this channel, if nobody watches me, not a big deal, I'm just doing it to have fun. Um, but I kind of realized I don't need to rush like that again, so, um, you know, my... I might not have the new Jedi game videos out right away. I'm open to just playing whatever I think will be fun and, and really just enjoy myself, so... There's the core. That was easy. That's all it took to get to the core. Is that an Apex Tide Ripper? Oh, man. And there are a lot of baddies here, too. You know what, let's make my life easier and kill these things before I go over there. There you go. So there's water all around here that I can escape to. Interesting. There's a whole platform down there. Can't, this can't be the end of this cauldron, there's no way. Oh. I need to find a way back on that platform.
Alright, well, fine. You want to be like that? Be like that. Oh, it wasn't even close. Come on, you. For a fight down here. Be careful around that snow. Salute these suckers. That might be a way out right there, so let's avoid the way out. What's over there? Looks like a dead end. Well, I might be able to get to that override there. Looks like I can climb up this way. Yeah, but how do I get to that? I need those things to come up. Oh, there we go. Just like that. Thank you. Very kind of you. Excellent. Like some kind of gate. Oh, it's used for. There's a note over there. I can't override it from here. Oh, I can't do it? Oh, that's frustrating. I thought it would let me override it from there. Oh, so it looks like I'm not even going over there just yet. I'm doing stuff over here. This is some kind of... Is pump for what? Huh. Uh, I don't remember this one at all, so I'm not really sure what to do here. Looks like I gotta get over to that platform, but how do I do that from where I am? Oh, well, I'll just figure it out. Sometimes you don't need all the answers right away. Oh, well, hello. This cauldron is recommended level 40, and I'm only 41, so this one should be rather challenging. Can I get through here? Is this anything? This is just a... Uh, it's a nothing. Well, that's just, I guess, where they were... The machines were hiding when I first got in here. Raise water level, okay. Does that raise water level out there too? Because that'll help you get back to the platform. There's more stuff above. That's a lot of water. This cauldron must be pumping it in. 
can't raise it again, can I? Wait, was that? Oh, that was a bad guy. many of these things where like the machines are hiding in here and I can't see them yeah there's no actual tunnels here they're just hiding places which makes me assume that has to be more oops nope stop doing that unless there's something down here I need to see other than giant turbines that could kill me yeah, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Yeah, so I gotta get up there. Which means I have to raise this level again. Oh, there's stuff there. Looks like I do need it. Let's back up. That's the spot. Should be able to climb up now. Oh, the brakes again. I was kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> Bad guys coming from this time. Um, the water stopped. Doesn't look like I can climb up to that tunnel yet. I don't see any bad guys. Wall. That's weird. Uh, maybe none come up this time. All right, so I got to get to that thing. But in order to do that, I think I, think I need this. One. Is there a spot that's shallow enough for me to be able to pull it up? This might be? I don't know. It's not going to come up if I put it in here, so... I don't know what else they want me to do. Maybe if I place the crate under the rail... And climb up to that tunnel. <laughs> Too close. Don't think I'm getting this thing out of here. There has to be another way to get into that rail. Oh. This thing again? I can place the crate where I need it. This is silly. The back and forth.
Yeah, but the question is, can I even get back to that platform without that? I'm gonna have to believe that I can. Try again when I'm closer. I need it to be right over here, so. Oh, come on. I gotta put it in there, I guess? Thing, but I guess not. Oh, I get it now because I broke it. I can reach it from there without it. Ah, clever, clever, clever. Yes, I know, dear. I am quite aware. I knew it was too easy before. There had to be more. Alright, so another show walker. An apex burrower. What are you weak against? Alright, well I'm going to put this here. Looks Who like else they is called coming? for backup. You're gonna come play too? Alright. Oh, it shut it on me. Oh, damn. That's funny. They're just like, nah. Oh, it's not shut, I don't think. I just was dumb.
Oh, stop dodging out of the way. Come on. Take your medicine. Don't be dead. Come now. That's not very nice. He's just dodging all my attacks. It's almost like he doesn't want to be killed. Like, be a team player, man. They're all cool machines are doing it. Tide Rippers are fun. There's an elite one too, so it's gonna be a tough battle. Mostly because they like to belly flop on me, which I'm not a big fan of. All the machines that kind of just hit you repeatedly over and over again and don't really give you a chance to like, way out. I don't know, There's do anything to defend yourself, those are the ones that frustrate Press me the most. So um, the Scorchers are like that, they just hit you and then if there's two of them, as soon as you like dodge out of one, you're getting hit by the other one. You can like barely stand up. Tide Rippers are like that because they just belly flop and belly flop and belly flop on you. And, it is not a very cool. But let's uh, ammo up before we go in there. Oh, well, we'll have five of those. I don't know if they're weak to acid. I don't remember. I know they're weak to purge water. And I think electricity? Is that everything? This water. I need to hurry.
is not gonna let me get anywhere near the core. the room I was in before. It's the only way to lower the water in here. That note before. Maybe you can help me out. I know it's in this area. Should help me lower the water. Oh man, I'm gonna get rid of that machine. Sorry about that, guys. That was another time where my mic was muted for, for something. I forgot to unmute it. So once again, I'm just talking to nobody. I was really nervous there as I think it was getting closer and looking at me because I'm like, I don't know how to get back in the room. I'm so lost. Where do I go? And I was 
moaning and complaining that I was lost and couldn't find my way. You guys couldn't even hear me. <laughs> oh, okay, where are you? Where are you? Well, these are making me nervous. damage I can't see where I'm going or what's happening. Damn it. I wanted to get its neck. It's gonna be so hard to get the tail. Oh. Come on. Stop being a dick. Bugger. your bloody tail! Now you can die. Now I give you permission to die. We're done here. Time to get those overrides. But there. 
We are going to do what we like to do, which is to loot the goodies. Kill Tyrip again. Awesome. I don't remember which thing that's for, but. Machine of rides should come in handy. See, Mr. Tide Ripper, you tried to belly flop on top of me, and I told you already that's not something I think a dude should do to another dude. Dudes should be friends and hang out like dudes, you know? And you decided, no, I'm not gonna be a dude, I'm gonna try to crush you with my belly. And that was not very nice, you know, so now you know better, okay? Man, we got uh, we got the overrides for just about everything. The crazy thing is, like, in order to actually be able to override tie rippers and thunder jaws and these crazy massive creatures, you have to kill so many of them and harvest parts for it that, like, it's a really long process to to undergo all that. I've never actually done that. I've never unlocked all the upgrades. Like, I've unlocked them, but I've never actually gathered enough materials to obtain them before. I think it would be kind of fun. Is the, uh... Snap Maw here anymore? No? Alright. Well then, let's go. Fishy. And we're level 42. I think there's one more cauldron, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to find out. Either way, they're all going to be posted. In fact, I am I mean, depending on how many days I'll have between when the last episode comes out and when um, the DLC is ready, I might spread out the, the final couple cauldrons or I might just post them all on the same day to get them out. We'll see. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching this cauldron here, the underwater cauldron, which is a lot of fun. Definitely challenging, but definitely a lot of fun. And we will see you later on on Budmash Kingdom.